All right, welcome back to now. I guess this would be the fourth in the series. Um, and for those of you who are just joining us, welcome. For those of you that are coming back, hey, it's number four. Congratulations, you've made it through um, a whole slew of content. That's awesome. Anyway, so today's Monday. Of course, I'm full of energy today because it is Monday. Um, so I want to get you guys going straight up. Um, what I actually really loved about the session today before we even um, started and before we get in, in, into the content. Um, some of you guys were actually on the chat already way before we were even remotely going live, which is awesome. I'm glad to see that you're excited. I certainly am. We have a lot of good stuff for you today. Um, but I think what is most exciting for me about this particular session is that for you guys that are web developers out there that wouldn't have necessarily considered Windows Phone, Windows 8, um, you're going to get a little bit mind blown of what we're going to go through today in terms of just what you can do with the existing skills that you have on the web side and how you can bring that over uh, to the Windows 8 side. And then actually March 28th, we're going to sort of do the same of how you bring over your web technologies over into the phone world. Before I do that, the usual thing I want to do is kind of give you a little bit of an introduction to the developer movement if you haven't already um, seen what it is or know what it is, and we'll do that. Um, and then we'll go into the speakers right then and there. Um, I posted my contact information on the chat. By all means, this is a live chat. Post anything you want on there. Great discussions is a good thing to have. Questions, also good. If I can answer them, I certainly will throughout the day. Um, if not, as soon as each one of the presenters is uh, done their session, they're going to come on the chat uh, while we're on break. So just make sure you get all those questions in there. Now, for those of you that don't know what the developer movement is, I'll give you a quick intro for those of you guys that have heard this four times already. Sorry, got to do it. Um, but anyway, the idea of the developer movement is actually just to make sure that um, there's this really cool program in place for you guys to, I guess you could say, reward yourself, if you will, for building applications for Windows Phone or Windows 8. And the way that you do that is basically you build an application, Windows Store, Windows uh, Phone, like I said, ideally with the Windows Azure backend. And for those of you guys that are kind of raising your eyebrows saying, where would I ever use Windows Azure? You're going to learn that. So stay posted on that. You're going to create those apps. You're going to publish those apps into either the Windows Store or the Windows Phone Store. And then you're going to post them into or submit them into the developer movement. Of course, the nice thing about that is that you get rewards for doing that. And really, the way that the rewards break down, very simple, like this. You register for the developer movement. If you haven't done so already, head over to developermovement.ca. Very quick form to fill out, and you have all the information there. Nice thing is that you get 1,000 points just for, just for signing up, which is awesome. Uh, hey, come back here. Come back here. There we go. Oops. Look at that. We're having some PowerPoint issues today. Anyway, then you publish your first uh, phone app or your Windows 8 app. You get 5,000. Um, and the points keep building on from there. And you can see there on the screen some of the things that you can actually get with those points. Um, you know, and, and they go anywhere between a, a, a simple shaker to you know, Xbox 360 wireless headset to home theater systems, so on and so forth. The idea is the more points you rack up, the larger the rewards you can uh, give yourself. You know, so obviously, um, you know, they add up. And the nice thing is that the more they add up, the crazier ones you get. Like for example, that Samsung 14-inch laptop. Now, to help you do that, we have these sessions that are going on, right? So this is now the the I guess it would be the fourth um, of the three that have passed. We went through a general developer camp, then we went through some app design stuff, game design. All of those are going to be available online for you. I actually have the links for you coming up, so don't worry about that. But in addition to that, you know, you have questions. Let's say you're new into this stuff, or I was chatting with someone on the chat there where they're saying, hey, you know what, I didn't really ever think about Windows 8. And now um, I'm excited to see what I could do with my web technology background and bring it into here. So to help you with those, um, sort of ramp ups or questions or troubleshooting or whatever it is that you need, we actually have developer mentors that are part of the developer movement that can basically help you do just that. They can answer questions. They could pretty much do anything that you guys agree to do yourselves as long as you don't think that they're going to write your code for you. Obviously not because that defeats the purpose of you know, teaching you how to write apps. 
Anyway, point is, if you want to be hooked up with a developer mentor, just let me know. Very simple, quick email to developermovement um, at microsoft.com. And then um, basically tell me what your, you know, obviously your name, where you are in Canada. Let me know where you are in Canada so I can make sure that I have a mentor that is um, as close as possible to you geographically. Um, or if you prefer to meet online, let me know about that too, because it doesn't really matter where you are in Canada. Um, and also tell me what kind of technologies you're looking to use, right? If you're going, if you're thinking HTML5, JavaScript, or you're thinking XAML, C Sharp, whatever it is that you're thinking, just let me know so that I can make sure that I have the right person queued up for you. So like I said, very quick email to developer movement at Microsoft.com, and I'll make sure to get you hooked up with a developer mentor. Now with that, I promised you the links. So here they are. The first one is available for you, aka.ms slash dmdevcamp. I won't go through them all because um, I'll post them in the chat for you anyway. But just so you know, the developer movement, uh, dev camp is already online, app design camp is already online, and game camp is already online for you. So it gives you a nice uh, mix in terms of um, what you can watch depending on what you're interested in. So with that, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take a little break so that we can actually get everything set up here in the studio for you for your first session, um, which is actually going to be talking about Windows 8 from a web developer perspective, right? So using WinJS, using HTML5, JavaScript, really, really interesting stuff. Um, we'll get that going, and um, uh, we'll see you shortly. <laughs>